I uh, just came by to get yeah. the keys that I lent to just Jessica. Go ahead and grab them. Let's excuse okay. the mess, though. It's, it's all me. Sorry. Yeah, nice try. I know my sister. But the mess uh, must be a good sign. You two must be doing well. Yeah, yeah, we are. You and John? Great, actually. And I, I think it's a good idea that, that we didn't tell anyone what happened that night. Hey. Hi. Hi, I just uh, I came, came by to, to get these. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> what, are you worried that I think something was going on between you and my man? <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is Lieutenant John McBain with the Landview, Pennsylvania PD. Yeah, we, we have reason to believe a suspect in an attempted murder here may have traveled into your jurisdiction in Delaware. Her, na her name is Hannah O'Connor. You can't sleep. I keep thinking about star in that room. In bed with that guy. I mean, she says she needs some time to think. So I'm thinking. So let's be clear, okay? I need to know that you're gonna call up the dogs the moment I get the dough. You know me. Kid, I'm only trying to get back what was lost. young man at the country club today? My young man? <laughs> what is this, 1810? Oh, should I call him your nephew? Mom! <laughs> Nate's just... What? It's just great. Yeah, there he is. My little cougar tamer. Oh, my God. What? I left Vicky a veritable feast and the best tanning day of the entire year because I'm supposed to be keeping my eye out for you while Mom and Pa are on their honeymoon. I educated you on the ways of the enfant terrible. Look at you. You're still moping around because Danielle dumped you. Thanks. Now I feel better. Oh, good. Glad to hear it. Because that's one thing about hitting the bottom of the barrel. Nowhere to go but up. Want to bet? Look who's here. Oh, no. Look who's here. Yeah, I don't want you to stay on Hannah O'Connor. I just want you to find my daughter for You said you had a lead. Yeah. It's a still from the dealership surveillance camera. Who's the guy? Yeah, I don't know, but he looks familiar to me. So I have your word, right? I give you the money, and you won't hurt anyone. Not unless I have to. Parents have a summer house in Bethany Beach. You know it? Good, because if she's there, I'm on my way down right away. Yeah, yeah, she may be traveling with someone else. A young man by the name of Cole Thornhart. You really need to try to sleep, at least for a little while. I mean, you must be running on fumes. I can't even think straight. Well, just close your eyes. I have some chill out music on my MP3 player. No. I like it quiet when I sleep. Really? How does that work with a baby? Perfect. You know, I wake up the second that Hope cries and Star gets to sleep in a little. Can't stop thinking about her. Roll over. What? Roll over. I'll help you relax. Okay. Um, so sorry, I didn't I didn't know you guys were No big I, deal. I should go. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, again. <laughs> Has my sister always been a big weirdo? You've known her longer than I have. Well, what, since when has she been scandalized by walking in on us? Well, maybe she just wanted to give us some privacy. Well, it's a good thing she didn't walk in 15 minutes ago. 
That was quite a workout. Well, it's a good thing you brought back some provisions. Well, we are going to need some energy for round two. It's round two, huh? Mm -hmm. Hoorah. Why does he have to be here now? Honey, I thought you were going to ease up on Todd. Todd? No, I was talking about Matthew. Things are still awkward between you. Oh, please, I'd kill for awkward. Things went from awful to full-on hostile, like the day that I talked to him. Yeah, he was quite taken with you. Taken? <laughs> Mom, why are you turning into Jane Eyre all of a sudden? <laughs> what would you say? Crushed out, totally down. <laughs> Doesn't matter what I'd call it. Matthew called it love. He told me he loved me. Sweetheart, you say all kinds of things when you're young. Okay, next time you try to ground me for my smart mouth, I'm totally quoting you for that. <laughs> you can punish someone and still understand the reasons for what they do. Like you understand Todd? Can we not argue about your father right now? Yeah, well, he's got to learn. Just because things don't go your way doesn't give you a pass to act like a jerk. Has Matthew been giving you a hard time? Not so much me, but Nate. You should have seen him earlier at the country club. Nate works there now, and Matthew was treating him like dog meat. No, worse, and just because he can. That's not good. Destiny said that, that Matthew's cool now. But you're not buying it? I know that he's still upset at me because I didn't want to be his girlfriend. Honey, look, you can break up with someone and not have to run and hide. Matthew will get over it, okay? Just give him time. If it were me, F-A-W-N would spell relief. You want me to call Fawn? I programmed her into your cell phone. Let little Miss South Pacific over there see you in the company of a real woman. Okay, do you not realize that this is our grandmother's hotel? Do you not realize that she doesn't have a problem with P-R-O-S-T-I-T-U-T-I-O-N? Uh, Dad will, if she tells him that I'm here with a working girl. Evening consultant. Whatever. I'll be grounded for the rest of my life. Uh, maybe you're right. She didn't do anything to help you get over Danny, did she? All right. Plan B. I'll go throw my drink in her face. No, 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 no. no. Plan C. I'll take care of it myself. How are you going to do that? Don't worry about it. It's a done deal. We don't worry about things. We talk behind people's backs. We're Buchanans. You start. OK, as mad as I was at Danny, I was even more mad at Nate. So I found out a way to get some revenge. Meet me at 8 tomorrow night at the abandoned barn off 23A. And there better not be any screw-ups. This could turn out twice as good as I thought. Look, I don't know what you want with me, but... I do. I think you got something that belongs to me. What are you talking about? You don't want to lie to a man with a gun, do you? Now tell me where the 50 grand is. 